we continue our focus on direct beneficiaries of the Bank of Industry interventions, and one of them is Electronic Pay Plus Limited, a smart card and payment solution provider that is growing in leaps and bounds through the ever-increasing support of the Bank of Industry. Take a listen. Our next report showcases Electronic Pay Plus Limited, a smart card and payment solution provider which is growing in leaps and bounds through the support of the Bank of Industry. Electronic Pay Plus Limited is a customer-focused smart card and payment solution service provider incorporated in 2004 but started operations in 2005 with POS terminal deployment. However, due to reasons ranging from overhead costs submerging profits to less acceptance of the technology, the line of business was changed to smart card production and personalization in 2009. However, to make that switch, a meeting with the Bank of Industry was inevitable after relationships with commercial banks whose interest rates became a clog in the company's wheel of progress. I actually founded the company 16 years ago with a couple of my friends and um, we've been together for that 16 years. The, we've grown from step to step and we are still hoping to grow further than where we are today. We have ambitions to produce so many other things apart from uh, smart card, okay? The smart card that we do today, we can actually do, like I said, banking card, identity card. For your information, we produce the Nigerian smart identity card, and we supply those to Nigeria six years ago. So we can do identity card, we can do residency card, we can do loyalty card, gift card, and all of that. We voters card, we can also do all of that, you know, so the idea is to go into so many other areas, which I might not want to mention here. Okay, there are so many security printing that Nigeria government still do outside Nigeria today. Okay, driver's license, you know, and all of that. And that is, we're already working on some of them because we believe that Nigerian government should not be spending money to go abroad to print some things when we're here. Okay, so we just need to let them realize that we can actually provide our services locally. Mr. Adeokun says Electronic Pay Plus has since then relied on the Bank of Industry at every point where an expansion is needed by the company. There is quality control in line as we go ahead. And um, in to, for you to be able to get the card quality management certification, you have to have a laboratory, a quality laboratory. There are so many equipment that you need to procure because every aspect of the card needs to be tested. Okay, so part of our process is in line. You take sample size, okay, depending on the batch that you are producing for each process, you take a sample size and you take them to the laboratory to test, depending on, like I said, what you want to test for. I.e., for instance, when you finish milling and embedding, you take the card into, from a batch of maybe 200, you take five full sample size to go and do what is called bending and twisting test in the lab. What that does is you stress test the card to ensure that it can withstand stress, okay? The chip will not fall off when customer is trying to use. So you load it into the machine, you bend, you twist, you do all kinds of stress that the daily life card might go through. If you put a card in your wallet, you sleep, or, okay, so you do that. You also do compression tests. Like I said, everything that you do has a, an ISO standard. So the milling, the hole that is being drilled on that, that is, a, that is a dimension based on ISO standard that has been set on the machine. You want to make sure that the, the calibration of your machine is correct and you're actually meeting those standards. So you go and do that compression test. Again, you take samples. We assume that if out of the batch size of 200, five are correctly done, you can then assume because we will not be able to do 
Okay, we have a capacity of uh, 60 million cards per annum. Okay, so you cannot test 60 million cards. Okay, so you just take sample. Okay, you do a whole lot of uh, other, uh, other kind of tests. You want to mention the dimensions as well. Okay, the, the opacity test. So we have various equipment that mention the width, the breadth, and all of that of the and the thickness. Don't forget, like I said, there are four layers for a contact card. For a contact lens, there are five layers because that also have to have an antenna in between it. Okay, so those must amount to a certain dimension at the end of your production process. After putting them together, laminating them, it must meet a certain micron, as what we call it, thickness, okay, based on the standard. So if you use wrong material, you might end up getting a wrong output. So that is why you have to test as well. And we have different material, actually, for contact and contactless. So again, your, your warehousing must be properly done to ensure that when you are manufacturing a contact card, you don't supply contactless card material for that, because at the end of the day, you will miss it. And that's why quality assurance comes in. That has to be assured before you start live production and all of that. Okay, so we have the laborate, quality laboratory set up to do all of that. While praising the improvement of the processes of obtaining a credit facility at the Bank of Industry, Mr. Deokun says the rumored man-no-man -no -man factor isn't the norm in BOI, rather a bankable and feasible business plan which has made Electronic Pay Plus a regular customer that has accessed almost a billion naira from the Bank of Industry. After obtaining global certifications from MasterCard, Verve, American Express, and the UCAS management systems due to the high security architecture put in place through the help of funds from the Bank of Industry, Mr. Adeokun mentions what intending borrowers from the Bank of Industry must do to be offered a helping hand to move their businesses from where it is to gain the attention of global players. That is when you are going to have to attach the chip or what we call modu. Okay, that's where you store the information. That's what makes the plastic smart because that's where all the information is stored. Okay, so you take after milling and after um, all stamping, you take it to milling and embedding. The machine drill or mill the card. It drill a hole based on the diameter ISO standard. Everything that we do has a standard that must be met. ISO standard tells you the length, breadth, and width of the chip. So the parameters are already stored in the machine. The machine picks the card from the input upper, drill that, and then there is a vacuum cleaner that clean water has been drilled away because, again, it's precision. Particles must not be there. It drills it off, okay, and then it picks the model and places it in that hole and then laminates that to ensure that it does not fall off and it stays there. Okay, so after laminating, that is when you have completed the making of a particular card. Okay. In each of this process, there is quality control. Everything is being checked. Each of the machines has a quality control equipment attached to it that is checking as you go along. We also have processes that check. That's why I said earlier that we obtain our CQM card quality management. That is also a standard for each process, what you must look out for, what you must check as you go. So you have in line, apart from quality assurance, which is what you do before you start live production, that is in line quality control as well in each of the processes as you go. Okay, so that is when you then complete the production of a particular card. Okay, that is smart card manufacturing. Then you then now do the second leg of the work, which is card personalization. If the customer contract you to also do that for them. After breaking words with a multiple award winning entrepreneur, he gives us a tour of the facility and how they operate and manufacture one of the key components of today's cashless policy, the ATM cards. And this was our first. So he's doing what is called compression text, yeah? 
is going to check what the, like I said before, quality control process. You take sample size depending on which aspect of the production line you have. So he wants to check the compression of the whole drill on the milling and embedding machine and see whether the module or the chip was properly embedded. That is a parameter that has been set on the milling and embedding machine as regards the depth of the hole that the machine must drill to put the chip in. So that's what is trying to confirm here if we all done very well. Okay, so it will drill, go ahead and drill and compress. Again, the standard that same parameter on the machine has been set here is just to confirm whether it was done very well or not. Second. Here, bending and twisting. That's what we do here. Okay, when the chip has been embedded, you want to put it through a stress test to be sure that whether the, it was properly laminated. If you put it under stress, will it fall off? So you don't want the card holder to put their card into an ATM and then the chip fall off. Okay, so that is what you need to confirm here. So like I said, you do bending and twisting. You load the card here and you bend, you put it through all kinds of stress to ensure that the chip will not call more from the, from the card. That's what is done here. Again, you take samples depending on the production um, size. And third. There is a dimension for the chip based on ISO standard. Again, that has been loaded onto the milling and embedding machine. That's what it is drilled there. They call it the X axis and the Y axis. Okay, so you, it also has been loaded here. And so you bring, the, you bring sample of the card here. It is a projector, so it magnifies the card actually so that it can be able to measure those dimensions and be sure that, yes, the machine calibration is proper and is working very well. You know, so he mentioned the Y axis and the X axis. As it's operating, you'll be able to see the magnified version of a card here. Electronic Pay Plus Limited is known in the fintech industry for its world-class service delivery and has been doing business in both the financial and non-financial sectors of the Nigerian economy as well as in regions beyond Nigeria.